All right, March 8th is International Women's Day, and we, we've been told to strike the each for equal pose, which is this way for men and women, of course, not just women. Uh, this is the strike or the pose for each for equal on the International Women's Day. Now, even though International Women's Day is celebrated every 8th of March, uh, this year is quite different because we're looking at it all year round uh, to, to educate women that uh, they have the strength, the power, the intuition to be who they want to be uh, going forward regardless of what the society they are in tries to restrain them from, from doing. Uh, this year is all about collective individualism. Uh, that means that um, for a woman to rise, she needs other women, she needs men as well uh, to rise up the ladder in anything she's doing. Uh, well, for us to understand more clearly, or to for us to have more insight on the International Women's Day, we have joining us via phone line a women advocate. Uh, she's joining us on phone, Adiola Awubemi. Adiola, good morning and welcome to the program. And happy Women's Day good to morning. you. Good morning. Happy Women's Day. I wish you the same. All right, let's begin from the fact that um, this is Nigeria. Nigeria is also a country uh, celebrating or marking the International Women's Day all over social media uh, yesterday. Uh, I, I saw a number of pictures uh, with um, women and men posing, uh, having this pose, and um, saying good stuff about women. International Women's Day, what does this mean to you as a woman? Um, thank you very much. Uh, for me, uh, International Women's Day is a celebration of the women's uh, movement. It's a special mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. where we all can come together you know, in strength and uh, make uh, you know, some demands, feel good, and remember that we are all you know, in this struggle together for the you know, equality of both men and women. You know, it's an occasion when um, a political and social economic statement is being made about the collective interests of women. So today is a very important day. It was yesterday, it was celebrated, like you said, everywhere. And we're still celebrating, it's not yet over, uh, because women's issues are development issues. All right, Abiola. This conversation about uh, equality, uh, this advocacy and campaign about equality has been ongoing for, uh, for God knows how long now. And one of the challenges that um, it has faced has been the fact that the women itself, the women themselves, had failed to support themselves. Um, report has it that about 49% of Nigerians are women. So if 49% rally around themselves, I'm sure this old advocacy will probably be a thing of the past. Sorry, come again. Um, Adiola, I am of the opinion, rather, I, I think um, women themselves have not shown enough support for themselves, which had been the challenge this whole advocacy had faced. Shouldn't the conversation be around women supporting women? very much. Um, that is uh, what we have all come to believe that women are not supporting themselves. Well, some issues have arisen in the past that have made I mean, people to conclude as such. But believe me, the patriarchal nature of our country has made things very difficult for women. You know, um, I believe that um, there are very strong women who have continued to support women and they are continuing to do so. We will continue to support each other. But the, the environment, the political uh, parties, policies, have made it almost impossible for, for women to advance in, you know, in the political space, even in the workplace. There are so many issues that women have to deal with. Women have to work twice as hard as men to be recognized as productive members of the society. You know, we know that there are not enough women in positions of authority today. So we need more women on the round table that can discuss women's issues and ensure that women's issues are dealt with. I do not agree that um, women do not support women. The women that I work with are supporting me. And I support the women that I work with to um, ensure that women are given the, 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 the space, the opportunity to express themselves and to be productive. Thank you. 
You know, Nigeria is currently ranked 128 out of 153 countries in the Global Gender Parity Index. We've been talking about uh, inequality for forever, as David said earlier. Uh, do you think that this can be corrected? Can, do you think our, our, our position now world, in the world rank can change anytime soon? Nigeria is 128 out of 153 countries. Well, the truth is that no country has been able to achieve equality. Globally, all over the world, there has been no country that has been able to achieve it. But Nigeria's specific case is, is just unique. And um, this is not only Nigeria, but Africa as a continent. And this is due to the patriarchal nature of our continent, of our country, Nigeria. I believe that with more women, and women are doing a lot right now, a lot of work has been done in the past. A lot of work will continue to be done. And we're still doing it today. So we will continue to fight for women's equal rights. We are not, we, we are not competing with men. We do not want to be, you know, men. We're just saying that what is accrued to a woman should be given to them. In the workplace, when women have, uh, when women go for interviews, you do, they should be considered as being equal to the task as men. And uh, I believe that with time, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not something easy. We will continue to do it. And that is why we need our men on board to understand that gender equality is not just about women, but also men, also boys and girls. Thank you. You know, we just had an election um, sometime in February where the percentages of women that, um, of women that contested the election was um, year on uh, year on year pretty low. Uh, we never had it this low in uh, the recent election yeah. that we had. Uh, where does this whole equality advocacy come into play when women are not taking up the challenge of, of politics and governance? Well, it is not that women are not taking up the opportunity. Political parties have to ensure that women are adequately catered for in their policies. Um, recently, the PDP has made some adjustments to some of its policies to ensure that the 35 percent affirmative action you know, you know, is implemented across the board so that more women can come on board. And that is the only way that women can participate more effectively in the political space. You cannot expect a woman to come to uh, political party meetings at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And that is what we are saying, that there has to be an enabling environment for women to participate in politics. And the political parties, the political parties have a great role to play in ensuring that this is, you know, effectively done. And so politics has to be reviewed and replaced with what they have in the past to ensure that Women, I mean, we constitute more than 50% uh, of this country. So we have the numbers. We cannot continue to, to be in the background. And we know that worldwide, wherever women are, a lot of work is being done. A lot of business, development of us. And that's why we're saying that Nigerian politicians need to recognize women. So in the next election, women are already preparing. And we are going to come out. We are not fighting men. They are our husbands, they are our sons, they are our brothers. But we are saying that we need to have more opportunities to be able to perform, to be able to contribute to the socioeconomic development of Nigeria. So the political parties' policies need to be restructured to favor women. Thank you. All right, talking about favoring women, uh, currently uh, there is a bill presently at the National Assembly that directs all organs of government, public and private institutions and corporate bodies to ensure that at least 35% of all offices and positions are reserved for women. Now, do you think if this bill is passed into law, it's going to set a, 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 you know, a path towards the equality we've been talking about? But, but I said earlier, no country has been able to achieve equality. But uh, the people that need to do this are the people in authority. And when this is um, strategically done, when the people in authority ensure that this is implemented across board and passed into policy, I'm sure it's not going to be an easy uh, work, but we will continue to advocate. And the most important thing is that 
it is important to recognize that women are productive members of the society. And when we have them on board, look at what is happening in Rwanda. We have more women in parliament today. And the country is achieving great things. So Nigerian men also need to recognize that when they have more women on board, they would achieve much more than is currently being done. We are not going to um, sacrifice the meritocracy because we want more women on board. We are saying that there are a lot of women, so many women, that can come to the table and get things done. So we are believing that this will happen. It's not going to be easy, but we believe that with time uh, and with uh, a lot of work that the theaters are doing, you know, advocating for change, this will happen. All right, Adiola. Awogbemi, Women Advocate. Thank you so very much for talking to us via phone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. All right, uh, we're talking with Adiola Awogbemi, a Women Advocate. Uh, the journey won't be easy. Uh, I, I was, I'm just told we have do, we've been joined uh, via Skype. We have um, Abiola uh, Kiode, who is uh, Executive Director or an advocate researcher. Yes, um, good morning, Abiola. Good morning. All right. Um, it's about um, women advocate. Congratulations as we celebrate um, International Women's Day. Congratulations. All right, so let's, let's look at the conversation. It's all about um, equality. Um, equality, we've had this advocacy has been ongoing for as long as Nigeria exists, probably as long as the world exists. What are the women not doing right in achieving this um, equal, equality, gender equality that they've been clamoring for over the years? Well, I, I really don't think what women are not doing well um, I think we should say, what are we all not doing well? Um, our bid to achieve um, gender equality is um, a task for all of us, for everyone, um, to be able to get to where we want to get to. Um, Nigeria is committed to the SDG, SDG, which gives us up to 2030 to be able to adjust our processes, our laws, and do other things to ensure that um, we are able to achieve uh, gender equality. And because um, the equality goal is goal five, it's also a cross-cutting goal. So meaning that uh, in terms of achieving peaceful society, uh, we must first get the equality uh, condition first. Um, so I think that uh, generally, um, civil society have uh, made a lot of efforts, uh, community organizations, women associations uh, have made a lot of efforts in terms of pushing for uh, gender equality, uh, but unfortunately we have not been able to achieve it. We recognize the fact that it's a toxic journey, uh, trying to shift culture that has been uh, uh, in people for, for so long that has become you know, part of their system, that has become part of their social norm it might be very difficult. Uh, achieving gender equality is beyond uh, changing laws. Uh, it's also about social norms. It's also about a whole lot of other things. So having that in mind, we will know that, yes, we will get there, but it will probably take us more time uh, to get there. You know, when women tend to talk about equality or um, celebrate International Women's Day or anything that has to do with women's celebration, uh, some people tag them as feminists. Uh, feminism is the, is a term usually used for women who really advocate uh, for women. But that term feminism seems to be confusing to a lot of us, uh, whether it means uh, women who do not respect men, uh, who want to you know, rub shoulders with men. Uh, can you please explain what um, feminism is in, in, this, in this case as we celebrate the International Women's Day? Okay, great. All right. Um, first and foremost, I am a feminist, and I'm very unapologetical about that. Um, feminism, it means a lot of things. 
feminism is an ideology. It's an ideology which seeks to dismantle patriarchy. And patriarchy has to do with uh, male domination. It has I uh, will apologize for that um, break in transmission, but uh, apparently we've lost um, track with Abiola Kiyode, who is an executive director, uh, women's advocate, researcher, and documentation center. Thank you so much, uh, Abiola Kiyode, for your time with us as we celebrate the International Women's Day 2020. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, another discussion. Please stay with us. <laughs> 